Okay, hi all. I wanted to do a video on your um, lab write-ups and your pre-lab for your labs for this semester. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to OneNote. All right, your first wet lab this uh, semester is on density. Um, and all of your labs can be divided into basically three parts. Uh, it's kind of a 30%, 40%, 30%. <clears throat> and um, the pre-lab is where you're going to be doing this, this stuff here. Before you come to class, before you come to lab. Um, <clears throat> think of this as your ticket to being able to do the lab. Without doing this stuff, you cannot do the lab. Now, the first lab, the first wet lab you're going to be doing in your first pre-lab in lab, I'm going to be more flexible because it's your first one. Then after that, I'm going to be much, much more uh, rigid regarding uh, what's to be done. Now, um, if you look through this, there's name, title, date. That's a tough one. Um, obviously, here's the title. Um, you're going to be doing this with partners. You're going to have your names on this. Now, this is going to be an electronic document, an electronic document that's created in either Word or Google or some kind of an editor. And then you're going to eventually create a PDF. Now, you're going to come to lab and show me the pre-lab on your device. That could be a phone. It could be a tablet or a laptop. It doesn't really matter to me. Or you could print it out. That would work, too. I would like to encourage you to not print it out since that you have to buy the paper to print it out and all that stuff. But if you want to do that, that's fine. Okay, so the pre-lab is, is made up of name and title <clears throat> uh, and, and date. Um, objective or purpose, in other words, why are we doing this lab? Um, it could be, the lab could be labeled as objective or purpose. It really is the same thing. Uh, and for example, in this lab, we, and, it, and it actually gives it to you. Some of the labs, um, you find that information out from the, reading the introduction or background. But with our labs in this class, I'm going to be giving you the purpose of the lab. But you still have to include that in your pre-lab. Okay. In this case, there are two of them. Okay, um, the uh, first aid, the first aid comes from the SDS document, and you can find that online. Um, but we have uh, no SDS first aid required for this lab, since it's um, just basically using uh, very, 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 very safe stuff like water. So you don't need it. And then the subsequent labs, though, we're gonna, we are going to be required to do the uh, first aid. And what that means is I mentioned it during the uh, last week in lab, but basically it's going to be if you touch a chemical, I want you to have the first aid available to it. Copper sulfate, um, hydrochloric acid, uh, whatever. Um, you're, going to, you're going to have the first aid built into your pre-lab. You don't have to go look it up you know, because it's, it'll be right there. It's for safety reasons. Okay. Some of the labs have pre-lab questions, some don't. If they have a pre-lab question, make sure you complete those as part of your pre-lab. And then there's the procedure. And the procedure is gonna take the most time. Now the procedure, you can either do one or two ways. You can summarize it yourself, or you can do a copy and paste. Now, basically you will not be allowed to use the prepared, um, um, uh, lab packet you purchased. I want you to only use your pre-lab for safety reasons. That means you've read the thing and you've reproduced it. Okay. Again, it's for safety. Very, very important. Okay. So I don't want to see the printout on your lab bench when you're doing this lab. I want to see your electronic version of what you've done. And I encourage you to summarize it. Uh, summarizing it can either <clears throat> it'll be in your own words, so you can follow it, you and your lab partner. 
Lab partners, by the way, are limited to are limited to two or one. Okay, not three. Not three, unless there's extenuating circumstances. Okay, so that's basically it. After you've done the pre-lab, you start the lab. Okay. And you then you're gonna then you're going to be actually doing the lab. And that involves, you know, measuring and blah, blah, blah. And you're gonna be filling out a data table. Um, okay. And this should be a data table. The purpose of a data table is a place for your measurements. Okay. All right. And you're going to have post lab questions. And then you're going to have a conclusion. Every lab. All labs will have a conclusion. And if you notice, that is worth 30% of the lab. The conclusion is just going to be tell me what you've learned. issues. In other words, I spill my unknown based on the unknown, um, whatever. Uh, the, uh, the, lab, the lab balances didn't work tonight because of a power fit, whatever. The issues in the lab need to be addressed in the conclusion. And this is conclusions, depending on the lab. Okay. Now your labs are all due one week from when you do them. So that means I will need to have your uploaded electronic completed labs by a week from Thursday at midnight. It's always midnight. Okay. All right. So that's basically it for your write-up on your labs. Um, and again, I want to focus on the pre-lab stuff in yellow here. Name and title, objective, uh, or purpose, uh, first aid, if we need to do it. Uh, Pre-lab questions and procedure, those are required. I encourage you to do also a data table. It's not required, but I mean, you have to do a table, data table eventually anyway. Um, so I encourage you to do a data table as well. Okay, so that's basically it on your lab.